Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of The Faux Show. Today is Sunday, February 15th. My name is Angela. And my name is Chris. And as most of you know, The Faux Show is not a real show. <laughs> I almost lost my show. It is a social experience because Little. I don't look at you. Oh. I look at the chat room I have here on my iPad. Conveniently, and just totally by coincidence, the chat room happens to be full screen on my screen. It's over there on a monitor where we can see ourselves. Also, another really big coincidence, because that monitor don't matter. It is in the best <laughs> lower third right here on the internet. The JBLive.tv chat room has been embedded using advanced graphics technology in real time in our lower third. Lower third being a technical production term, not the actual amount of size it takes up on the screen. So, Angela, what are we talking about today? Well, I don't know. I really enjoyed my rocking face there. <laughs> like, I think we just do that. I did that really yeah. good. <laughs> no, no, nope. no. Oh. Mine was mine was epic. I'm not going to repeat wow. it, though. I have to watch watch the intro yes, i guess you will wow. so markdown du- dual nose itch yeah yeah markdown okay. is here markdown is sort of uh it's my love and you might be watching right now you'd be like uh, chris why don't you just write an html why don't you ask me that hey uh chris yeah <laughs> why don't you just write an html angela has the dumbest question you've ever asked me <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> no, seriously. Uh, Markdown is much simpler to work with. You don't have to be familiar with HTML. And once you get in the groove, you'll find it's crazy fast to go. But the great thing about it is it, it does easily convert to HTML. So it means you write it once in Markdown, and it's pretty much going to look exactly how you intended it wherever you've posted it. Now, because of that, Markdown has taken off. It was launched, the latest version that's sort of the official Markdown was le- released in 2004 by John Gruber of Daring Fireball fame. And now Markdown is everywhere. It's on Reddit comments, it's on GitHub, and they have their own version of it. We use it here every single show we post as written in Markdown. But more important than that, the most important GitHub repository on the entire internet uses Markdown. And that is our community's open source recipes over at openyourmouth.recipes. And have you ever been to openyourmouth.recipes yes. before? This is These are a bunch of GPL recipes submitted by our community, all written in Markdown. Yep. All right. So I'm going to tell you some backstory and prepare your faces for what kind of a show this will be. We're going to walk you through some resources for Markdown. Yeah, and there are other things out there besides Markdown, but we're going to talk about Markdown today. But I'm going to talk about it from a new perspective, Mm. uh, or new user perspective, right? I've dabbled in a little bit of HTML, nothing official, no classes, but this was super easy to pick up yeah. this morning yeah. when I, I did like half the tutorials yeah. um, on we, a every, website. Every host that we've brought on has always been like, oh, I've never tried Markdown, or some of them have. But some <laughs> of them are like, oh, I've never tried Markdown. And within the first episode, they've got it down pretty much. So here's the deal. Here's the backstory. Rakai <laughs> gives me crap because mm. the faux show and now Women's Tech Radio, <laughs> are the, only the shows, show notes are not in Markdown. The only shows on the network not in Markdown. <laughs> Because I haven't learned it. And so I was doing stuff at the beginning of January. I'm like, oh, guy, this year's going to be awesome. I'm going to learn Markdown. He's like, hallelujah, finally. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, on December 31st. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> it's continued into 2015. So, there has but, no- Yeah, well. Yeah, but today's the day that all changes. Today, yeah, today, today is the day. I am learning it, and, and and I hope I well I know he'll be patient with me. Do you want to start with uh, how your resources you used? Do you, how do you want to how do you want to kick it off? I don't know if you have an order of operation there. Uh, no, not in particular, okay. but um, but I will open yeah. this one. So this went, is what you were using earlier, right? Yep, I went to Markdown Tutorial, and it's a very dot com plain. Yeah, markdowntutorial.com. It's a very plain website, just white with text, you know. And up here at the top, it shows you the different things you're going to learn about Markdown, Mm. right? Mm -hmm. And as you complete each tutorial, because each of those are tutorials, it'll uh, become gray. But what's cool is it will only let you continue if you've done exactly what it Ah, needs to do. Yeah. And so, um, okay, so starting with italics and bold. Okay. It yeah. says to make a phrase italic in Markdown, you can surround the words with the underscore. Mm-hmm. And I know some of this stuff. Like when I use plurk mm-hmm. to put a, they use some of this syntax. Yeah, yeah, or, or you know things like this. Yeah, not, not Markdown. You get the idea. You're basically telling yeah. you're telling an interpreter when you see this, interpret it as italics mm-hmm. is what you're really doing. Yes. So to make a phrase, and you guys can do this along with us. Oh, you can go to this tutorial. The play and, at home and, version. Yep. Right. MarkdownTutorial.com. So it wants me to put the word not in this text box in italic. Oh, so they tell you specifically where, where to do it. So then, oh, that's nice. Yeah. Okay. So and you go over there and boom, you got bam. it. And then automatically. It just the creates next, the next part. Yep. Just and now I'm going to learn bold. I'm going to put will in bold. 
Yeah. And here's what's interesting. Two asterisks or one around I, W. Yep. I originally put just one asterisk. Yeah. Asterisk. Yeah. And it, it doesn't do anything. It right. actually well it, it actually does it, it, it makes italicized. it italics. Yep. Two one asterisk is uh is uh is, uh, is uh, italics and two is bold. Yeah. Because you're really serious about it. Double double asterisks will do bold for you. There, yeah, there we you go. go. Mm-hmm. And so anyway, so it's really cool now. If you accidentally delete part of the sentence or whatever, or or if in, in the future when it asks you to type something, if you misspell, it will not let you move forward. And that, that <laughs> might kill you because you're like, what did I do wrong? And you're reading the instructions over and over again, and, and that totally happened to me. Yeah. Well, it's all right. <laughs> so anyway, this is a really cool, like, quick crash course on how to do this. Um, yeah. So let's see, uh, put of, of course in italics. And do you feel like you, <laughs> like after you went through this, do you feel like you get like how to make links and all of this? Like you, you kind of grok the whole thing or where do you, or do you feel like you're kind of just at formatting right now? How far along did this get you? I guess is what I'm asking you. I got as far as, I got a little um, questionable with the inline picture stuff. Okay. Like I was able to make their picture appear because that's what's really, uh, this this website is really well done. I It's so user friendly and uh, anyway. Um, but I started like, oh wait, how was it brackets or pa- uh, parentheses? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Brackets in the parentheses or parentheses in the brackets, yeah. Yeah, yeah. like and, and is it before the text or after the text? Because um, like on um, Plurk you can just type a URL and then in parentheses afterwards you can give it a short description. But that's not, it's... It's brackets in this anyway, so well, it'll take a little ironing out. I, but can I make a suggestion mm-hmm. for you? Yeah. Um, I'm installing it right now over here on this computer. Uh, it's available for uh, pretty much all platforms. It's uh, it's a program called Harupad, and you've probably heard us talk about it before on the network. And I just kind of wanted to give you a real quick tour of it. I I literally like uh, just installed it, so I don't even know what what menu it's it's under, but it should be on here somewhere. Uh, internet. Do you see Harupad on here anywhere, Andrews? No. Oh, well, there you go. But it's on here somewhere. I just installed it. Harupad is an editor that uh, will let, will sort of autocomplete some of that markdown for you. Uh, so you have this is the en- editor interface, and you can go into the menu system there. In fact, you know what? It's in, it's on this computer right there. If you click uh, over here on your computer, if you click uh, this here right there, that's ah. Harupad. And uh, you can bring it up, and you can take a look at it. And one of the things you'll notice in this insert menu is you can insert all of the markdown things. So image, and it automatically does that. And then you just drop the URL right in there. Ah, sweet. Makes it much easier to learn markdown. And then the nice thing about that is in that, you see that second white column there? It will preview in real time what it looks like. I love that. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's really easy. That is really good. And in fact, I'll just, if I just take you behind the scenes a little bit here, what we do is... uh, Woo, TechSnap 200 shirt. TechSnap 200 shirt. Go get one. Teespring.com slash TechSnap. Uh, here, I'll show you uh, today's Linux Action Show doc that we just finished up, right? Okay. Uh, so uh, do me a favor and do a Control A, Control C on this for me, right? And so this is all uh, just raw markdown. Yeah, everything's written in markdown here. You see we have block quotes, we have heading elements, and things like oh, that, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. I learned about headings this morning. Yeah. All right. Super easy. Alt tab over to Harupad for me, if you would there, Baus. And uh, now, uh, why don't you do a Control V up in this business? And you can see now, it in real time, is previewing all of our markdown wow. that we did. So you can see all of this goes from this text over here to uh, these images over here. Yeah. And uh, that's how we're able to make sure that exactly what we write in the Google Doc, formatting-wise, formats exactly correctly on our website. That is amazing. Yeah, and Harupad so, is a great tool to do that. Does it work on Mac? Harupad pretty much works on Sweet. everything. Yeah. So the, the thing is, I do, I do have experience with HTML. As I mentioned earlier in the show, I would use MailChimp to send out the newsletters. Mm-hmm. And I had to do custom HTML because their templates were just too restrictive and boring. Um, so I learned a lot of basic stuff from that. Mm-hmm. But, and, and the blog but, you ran for a while. Yeah, but yes. But unfortunately, in both cases, it would never live preview. Oh, yeah. Harupad's I'd good about that. I'd always have yeah. to save, yeah. which yeah. freaks me out because yeah. I don't know if I did it right. Yeah. And then and then go back and see how it rendered, yep. and and there's no undo after you save. So, so. it's it's h a r o o p a d pad dot harupress dot com. We'll have a link in the show notes, mm-hmm. and uh, it's a good one. And the other thing that's really neat about it, and I, I've mentioned this before, so those of you who watch a lot of our shows know all this crap. But uh, <laughs> in Harupad, you can go into the program and you can add your own website's CSS file, so that way everything in the live preview looks exactly like you would have it look on your actual website, because it'll use the CSS theming from your website. That's a super cool way to get real life preview of what your uh, stuff's going to look like. Are you back to taking your uh, coursework? Yeah, I just wanted to get a little further. Okay, let's see. Uh, In the box, make the words, this is unbelievable, both bold 
and italicized. So a couple of uh, a couple of other mentions. Uh, brackets is another good. Uh, uh, um, um, uh, there's also a, a my markdown. I can't remember the, the the editor right off the top of my head right now. Mark my words. Mark my words is an, another markdown editor that's pretty good. Harupad still remains my favorite. Mark my words has the advantage of being all GTK, and therefore, if you have a high DPI display, it works good. What did you even just say? If you okay. if you <laughs> no. have a high DPI display, you want a GTK based application on the Linux platform. Angela. Linux on the Linux. Linux. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, so here's the header um, one, which is super easy. For header one, which is they show, they yep. demonstrate the size up there. Yeah. Just one. Yeah. And you, oh, oops. And, and then you, header. You yep. see the live. The more there the more the pound right. signs, the 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 higher the greater the, smaller, the header number. Yeah. yeah. And the so, smaller the yep. text, which is yeah counterintuitive, but. Now, now to do what? So in Harupad, control one, control two, control three, control four will automatically insert those those hashtags for you. Mm-hmm. All right, so, and you can't make a header bold, but you can italicize certain words. So in this case, w they want us to make it um, heading level four, which is just four hashtags. Did I do? That looks like five. Mm. You and can then, zoom in a little bit if you want, because I know it's kind of hard to see from over there. Yeah, there you go. This is really great, Ange. I know. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. In the box below, make the first line a heading level four and italicize the name of the book. So I like how... They right. This is they sort don't of like give you like they don't tell you what the name of the book is. <laughs> that's true. And look at that. And they do live highlighting. This is mm -hmm. really cool. Yeah. And so then this one discusses parentheses versus brackets. I wonder. Oh, we can skip. Yeah. Some. Oh my gosh, that's great. So you can go right I was to the images. You're trying to go. Yeah. 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 So this is the one that I had a problem with because they tell you to fill out the alt alternative text brackets. Yeah. To say a representation, uh, you know what you, you know, guys would probably what that is. Paste. Well, you know what that is. So you know what the alternative text is for an image? Oh no, I totally do. Oh okay. But I had typed a W instead of a Y for oh. the um, octre. Yeah, yeah. There you go. So um, let's see. And with an image, you have to have an exclamation or, or a bang. Yep. And so I had done the bang before, like within the oh, bracket. In the bracket. I didn't know that it needed yeah. to be outside because it actually doesn't say that. I mean, it does say it's prefaced with an exclamation, but yeah. I thought, well, okay. So anyway, so when I did that, it made this image show up. Image show up, right? Yeah. <laughs> right in front of my, right behind my head. Here. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. It, good so, job. Yeah, it's um, it is a really neat resource. I didn't go any further though because. Yeah, yeah, I didn't read about block quotes, but I'm going to have to because apparently you guys use those. You know what I actually ended up doing towards the end of my contracting is I even huh. I even wrote all my contracting notes in Markdown. Oh, uh, yeah. Because with the thing about Markdown is you can write in plain text, but you can still have all the formatting you want when you're not in plain text. I When I'm just brain dumping, I don't want spell checking. I don't want squiggly things. I just want pure raw brain dump. But I can throw in a you know a plus sign or a, or a bracket or something to give it some formatting later. So if a, if a client came to me and said, could you show us what you were doing last Wednesday? I would just go to my notes, convert them from Markdown to HTML super quick using any editor, and then hand them a very nicely formatted formatted notes that I didn't have to spend a lot of time making sure they look great. And then I can still use any text editor I want, even one on my phone that's connected to Dropbox and add notes. And the other thing that's really cool about Markdown, speaking of that, like there are a bunch of really great Markdown editors for your phone that are for note taking that sync with Dropbox and, or, or a lot of other services that make Markdown on the go really easy to use with live previews. Um, it's, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty widely adopted um, spec at this point. Where are you at over there? Well, I was. Um, I wanted to show something else that is really cool to use for, and let's see. Ah, I think I have to go a little further. But basically, when you want to, I don't know. I don't. Maybe you know a situation where you'd use this, where you can say, um, like, this link in another place, and just use that uh, as a reference for one link, and then at the bottom of the page, you just yes, you can change all links yes. at the same time. Yes. So I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. going to try to get there. I that, don't know if you can explain that. Uh, so you can do what's called reference linking, uh, basically. In in uh, So you could write, instead of when you're writing a paragraph, and say you wanted to define words or something in a paragraph, and you wanted to link to several words in your paragraph, instead of putting that long, ugly URL right in the middle of the sentence that you're writing, you can just do, in the brackets, the name of the link, and then the parentheses, or actually I'm getting this backwards, but 
you put a number and that number gets linked to the reference number down below and then you put all of your URLs down below that paragraph and you can change them anytime without having to go back and change the text up in the paragraph. I don't know if that made any sense what I just said, uh, but I use it all the time because it's a great way to have, I could, that way the text is completely readable without having all these long URLs in it, but all the URLs are like reference linked at the bottom. Mm -hmm. it's, it's nice and clean. Yeah. Or like, so let's say you linked google.com in four or five different places to the same results. Like here's the results for that. Then at the bottom, all you have to do is change the bottom and mm -hmm. it'll, it'll automatically update all mm -hmm. five. I, I, as a blogger, I can't, I can't really see a situation where I'd use. Well, I'll sh you know that. what? Do we still have Harupat open with the Linux action yeah. showing, or did we did we kill it? I, you might have to alt tab oh, to yeah, it. Oh yeah, you killed it. Am I, I can, um, it I might still paste. be in the yeah. Paste it. it. Might still be in there. Are you clicked there? Yeah. Okay. Oh no. We, oh, yeah. I used cotton. That's okay. okay. Anyways, I was going to show you. We do it in last. We do it in last quite a bit. Like if there's a big paragraph and we want to link four things in it, it's just so much cleaner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. And then what else do we want to talk about? Oops. Markdown. I mean, I, like we use it for a ton of things, but. I don't know what else to use it for because I just started using it. Well, you'll find mm -hmm. you you'll find it. There's going to be hopefully the show notes for one thing. But don't boom. Yeah. Well, so here's here's the show notes for today's show, but with like yeah. stock stuff in it that's always in here. Yeah. In um, Markdown. So here's header three. Here's a list of things. Yep. Here's the Bullet brackets points. to oops brackets for the shortened or you know this is that's what the, that link is and the then it's name. linked yep yeah so it's all pretty i don't know what the pluses are is that just those are bullet points like list yeah you can use is it the same yep. as asterisk mm -hmm. okay there's so a few things in markdown like that where it's one or the interchangeable? other interchangeable yeah yeah kind of like underscores for italic versus one at one star mm -hmm. yeah so and yeah i'm not sure if that or this isn't in markdown no either. those could be in a list too but our website just renders them fine without them specifically being put in a list so mm -hmm. it's not a big deal yeah mm -hmm. that is the markdown for this week's episode yeah yeah it's very nice cool and uh, markdown itself is a bit you know there's a different variants of it we've talked about it a bit if you search around in Coda radio there's a couple of markdown episodes that talk about some of the drama believe it or not even something like <laughs> markdown has uh -huh. drama <laughs> so we've covered some of that in Coda radio too mm -hmm. one so, more plug yeah, speaking of other shows, not Coda Radio, but TechSnap 200 has a new logo, and we are currently doing a t-shirt campaign, teespring.com forward slash TechSnap. Love that new logo. First place and only place we have it right now. It'll be rolling out as we get the visuals updated, well, as I get them updated. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is a slick-looking shirt. I personally recommend the long sleeve gray. That's my Oops. that's my favorite pick of, the, of this batch. Yeah. But they're all, they're all really good. We also have the ladies' tee on there, too. Yep. Get it's a fitted tee and the hoodie. Oh you know? yeah! Like I don't think we've really offered a gray. Like I know the last last uh, three hundred had a gray actually, but that's we don't do a lot of gray hoodies. Yeah. yeah, no, because normally we do a. All white right, I'm gonna have to get one of those dark. too. Then I gotta get I gotta get a gray hoodie. I got you one. Oh good. Sweet. <laughs> Thank you. So we sold 180, but it's uh, so we've already hit our goal of 100. So they're shipping. And, and it'll In bill you days. right away, so yep. you don't have to worry about when is that going to go through? Is it going to bounce my rent check? Or and whatever. It, it'll <laughs> start printing a few days, so it's got nine days left on the campaign. Give it a couple of days after that for printing and shipping, and then you'll have it in you know a little while. They, mm -hmm. they uh, ship them out quick. Teespring.com slash TechSnap to get the new TechSnap 200, 200 episodes in a row, too, which is super awesome. So for, let's see, API 984 just asked in the chat room, any last shirts? Well, um, oh, and somebody's wearing their last shirt Maggio's wearing today. his right now. That's awesome. <laughs> Um, so this is the, look at that, with the gray hoodie is the prominent one. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. um, if you still want one, you can put your email address in yeah. here and it if will let enough, you know. If they get enough, yeah. yeah, they'll tip it if they get like 15 people or something like that. Yep. I can't remember. Yep. So 15 of you got together, you could probably tip it and then they would ship a limited batch. And there's long sleeve. I love Oops. that long sleeve one. I didn't love mean it. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's made a really great, Yeah, it is just a really great logo. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But um, okay, well, I have. Um, we don't. We don't need any uh, fancy. Oh, I didn't get any sack graphics. You have, I know. You have some sack stuff to get into. Yeah. Yeah, I could just do like here. I'll just do it a cappella one. It's the. Oh, it's the, wow with your face. Oh, it's the. Oh, ladies and gentlemen on the faux show, it's the male sack. Wow. What do you got, Andrews? Okay. Um, <laughs> Jack writes. Hey yo! <laughs> hey Jack! Love that. Hey yo! All right, you were getting seven dollars a month through Amazon from me. That's Amazon payments. That is now canceled. <laughs> dun, dun dun dun! dun. <laughs> nice <laughs> jinx. <laughs> uh, I moved over to Patreon. Woo. Finally. Oh good. 
for fifty dollars to Tech Talk today. Whoa! And thirty-three, thirty-three to. Unfilter. Oh my God! That's gonna make a huge right. difference. That's awesome. Seven dollars, eighty-three, thirty-three. And so he's in the Swag Club on both of them, right? Yes. That is Swag like, Level times two. Did you see Noah was rocking one of his Swag Club Club items today? No, I he, didn't get a yeah. chance to watch the live stream. Um, he's Jack continues and says, "Love the whole network. Keep up the awesome, Jack." Thank, Thank you, Jack. Jack. That is awesome. No kidding. Um, wow. If you guys haven't switched over your PayPal or your Amazon payments to Patreon, you can. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The patreon.com forward slash today is, oh, yeah. is the way to support the whole network. Funds the whole network. 449 of you are doing it. What we're taking this money for right now is we're kind of doubling in, doubling down on stuff that we know we've got to do. Like we've got to launch how we've got to launch how to Linux, but we want it we know that it needs to be the right kind of show, which means we're gonna be super focused, super tight, probably can't fit advertisers in there. How do we do that? How does a business actually make money at something like that? Well, thanks to you guys, that part we don't worry so much about. We just focus on making really good content, and we know that our audience kind of takes care of us over at patreon.com slash today. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, you're going to see uh, in a week or so uh, coverage from scale. Yep. Again, funded by that. You're going to see coverage from Linux Fest Northwest. All of this stuff, what's, what, what was really great is it allows us, too, to try things um, without having to risk bankrupting us and if it becomes wildly successful then we work on making sure that that thing could be sustainable but without the runway over at patreon.com slash today mm-hmm. i think we just get a little boring <laughs> you know well let's, let's just be like it keeps gives us leverage with sponsors which is really right. good too and it's just all around it's just it's i think it's the hybrid model that work best for podcast networks that don't go too big that want to keep it focused on the community right well and yeah like um any of our swag stuff i i use i i buy designers like i I buy a person's time <laughs> to design our stuff. Hire could be another way you could say that. <laughs> uh, anyway, so like, yeah, anyway. <laughs> Good stuff. All yeah. right, so uh, this photo show is live on Sundays after the Linux Action Show over at jblive.tv and go to jupiterbroadcasting.com slash calendar to mm-hmm. get that up in your local time zone. And don't forget, we'd love to have you join us live because we got that lower third. Mm-hmm. Right and I do have nice hair. API 982. Wow. Says nice wow. Hair. Okay. Well, take it's, us. It's the second compliment I've had in my hair. I had to mention it. Andrew, take us out. All right. That is it for this episode of The Faux Show. We will see you next week. Did you enjoy this Faux Show? Well, guess what? You can catch more at jupiterbroadcasting.com and subscribe to the weekly RSS feed. Should I just leave it on your face while I do that? Yeah. There you go. There's, There's face. my face, everybody. Hi. Um, I think you guys might enjoy this episode as usual who doesn't Majo believes that the video is slightly out of focus yeah you are a little out of focus yeah yeah i agree oh yeah you know what it probably is from the show really i could go set it to autofocus that's probably our best bet great all my blemishes <clears throat> yeah you probably go from a beautiful glow to yeah a- i know i i did thanks, i Majo. did think i was glowing <laughs> <laughs> thanks Majo. i feel like there's a shirt in that you know but thanks, Majo. <laughs> yeah, because I had a, for single, for, there's a different focus for two people versus one people. So I'll just set it to automatic and it'll figure it out for us because that's all that camera pretty much does. Yeah. Now, how's that look? Boom. Right? Does it look any different? I look great still. <laughs> <laughs> she has different sized ears. Like. Yeah, this one is bigger. This hole is bigger. It's a good sound clip. Listening when, fatigue. When you, I like listening fatigue because that sounds like it's not uh, permanent. When you when you introduce me, you should be Angela. Or you should be. I this, don't introduce you. This is no, uh, no, no. In tech talk. No, just like in general. Like if you had a soundboard available, you'd be like, and this is Angela. This hole is bigger. Fisher. <laughs> <laughs> you love that too much. <laughs> I need a soundboard. Ready. Man.